हेलो इवान सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम डी फ्रॉम द लेटेस्ट कोड फॉर राउंड 828 प्रॉब्लम ने प्रीटी वायर टू डी सो यू आर गिवन एन एरे ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स फ्रॉम ए1 टिल एएन यू हैव टू मेक द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑल द नंबर्स इनसाइड द एरे एम व्हिच इज ए1 टिल एएन डिविजिबल मल्टीप्लाइंग ऑल ऑफ देम अ मल्टीपल ऑफ 2 टू द पावर ऑफ n डिविजिबल बाय 2 टू द पावर दैट्स इट नाउ वी इज नॉट लाइक just have to make it okay and if it is not you you can do some type of operation now what is the operation you can do you can choose any arbitrary index at i and replace the value of a of i and also you can see that the index i goes from 1 till n you can choose any arbitrary index i okay and the particular value on that so let's say i just choose second index so that is just, that is whatever the second number you will choose that and multiply that number with i okay? that is like that particular index i is like a of i is replaced with a of i into i that's it and that operation can only be done only one time so you cannot like uh, do this whole operation multiple like times you can only take a number or choose an index and multiply it with the index and what is the smallest number of operation that are required to make all the product and by 2 to the power now how can you do that it, uh, it's not too much difficult to directly grasp that if i Because I'm multiplying all the numbers, the power of twos from all these numbers accumulate, okay? and you just have to think about the power of twos from all these numbers. Okay, because let's assume that we have some number, let's say a one, a two, a n. This number has two to the power of let's say a one, not a one. Let's say let's say. So this number consists of some multiples. Okay, because let's say. Two into five to the power of two. Okay, if you divide it into different number of factors of what this number is, you can actually get the values of let's say how many factors are the power is. So you can so to get that, I just want to focus about the two to the power, not other. So for how many uh, power of twos it has, what you can actually get, you can just write a function to get this value out. What I mean by this is, let's say I have a number that's let's say thirty two. So how many power of two it has? So you can just take this number and keep on dividing it by two, okay. and whatever power it has. So let's say uh, it has uh, eight into four, and then six. Thirty-two is let's say two to the power of let's say four in thirty-two. Two to the power of five, which is two to the power of five. But let's take thirty-four. Okay, then uh, into two into So it's only two to the power of one. In this scenario, you can just directly get two to the power of like what is the total maximum two to the power for that total number? Now you have for every number, let's say this two b two, and all of them are multiplied. So obviously, it is two to the power of b one plus b two plus b three. Okay, and because you want to make it divisible by two to the power of n, obviously this number should be like b one plus b two till b n should be greater than equal to n. Okay, that's the very simple mathematics that we might require to do this. That this is the power. Okay, let's say it's two to the power of let's say ten, and I want to divide it by let's say two to the power of eleven. So obviously, this total value, the total two to the power on the above, should be greater than equal to this power. Then only I can divide it, or else there will be some. So let's say if it is let's say if it is equal to let's say five. So obviously, obviously I can get two to the power of ten divided by all it is of uh, five minus it will be so two to the power of ten divided by two to the power of five is equal to two to the power of five. Because we just subtract out this value from this one, so that I can only subtract out when this value, total value on the above, should be greater than equal to the the below value that is two power. So I just have to make this value somewhat greater than equal to n. That's the overall logic. So we have to first get these values out. For every number, just get out the total value of two to the power of that particular value, how much factors it has, and that's it. But now, if it is let's say if it is equal or if it is smaller, so this value is let's say. Greater than or greater than or equal to, then it is already fine. We have multiple of two to the power of n. But if it is smaller, it's a b1 till bn. If it is smaller, okay, the value is let's say smaller than n. In that scenario, I have to increase this. How much? Like how I can increase that? I can choose any number, multiply with i. And what I will eventually do is that if it is i, like i when I multiply it, obviously it will add this value into this because let's say I have two to the power of let's say five. And it add let's say two to the power of three, any i value. So eventually, how many two factors that particular i that I'm adding 
will be added to this number let's say it become to do of 8 so what i eventually have to do is that i have to somewhat get if i add a particular i to any number how much 2 to the power i i will get and i will just greedily choose that okay let's say i if i add the i equal to let's say 1 i will get 2 to the power of 0 when i let's say add i equal to let's say 2 i will get 2 to the power of 1 when i add i equal to 3 i will get 2 to the power of let's say 0 i will got nothing if i add i equal to let's say 4 i will get 2 to the power of 2 i when i add i equal to 5 i will get i 2 to the power of 0 i will get nothing zero so which eventually means that i have a list of how like how much 2 to the power i will get if i multiply any number with its index and thus i have that so i will just have to maximize it let's say i will choose the one that is increment incrementing my answer so very much okay i will just sort out these values and i will just add that particular value one by one until the total this total that is this value b because it is incre incrementing when i'm adding this i value it should if it becomes greater than or equal to n then the answer i should stop that how much values i've added i just went the number of operations i've done or else i just uh, and if there is not possible because i can just add all these numbers and still i will not able to get this answer done that's the logic so this is the count function to get a total count of two so what i'll do i just take the total uh how many total divisibility of twos are there keep that total number x keep on dividing by two add how much are there and just print out that's it the how many total to the power of number i have in the particular number then i just take the input of n the x and this is the extras okay extra is coming from i and this is the current number that i'm on so what i'll do is that this is the a array and this is the one that i'll be storing out for the one which i have for i i'll just show you so what i'll do is i'll iterate all the numbers then what i've done is that i will just take the input of that particular i and get how many total count of a of i is there in that particular number and just store it in that is total i'm just adding it for all the a of i so that i am getting a total of all the total sum of 2 to the power in all the numbers that is showing now if i am also adding i because it is starting from i index equal to let's say 0 i will take i plus 1 because from 0 i from index equal to 1 so i will just i plus 1 and here in, in i plus 1 how many 2 to the power of numbers are there i will get that and show in count so i have two things i have to do that i have to first get how many if I just take all these, let's say I multiply i equal to 1, i equal to 2, i equal to 3, all these numbers, in all these numbers I have, what is the total maximum value I can get? Total to the 2 to the power of, all these numbers have some 2 to the power inside them. And if I also multiply with i, they will eventually also add some 2 to the power inside them. So this extra is added to all of them. So I will just get extra in all these words. And also what is the count that I've got from i plus 1, I will also push that inside this side. So I have to have two conditions. The first condition is that the first scenario that in which all the numbers are such that their 2 to the power is already greater than 2 to the power of n. Greater than n. In that scenario we don't have to any, do any operations. So answer is already. So this case, case is that I just add all these i values. Just i like i equal to 1 is multiplied in the first number. i equal to 2 is multiplied in the second number. All of that. So all of these are added in extra. So if all of these are added and the original ones are of already have taken. If still it is less than n get the number i want then the answer is minus one because i cannot uh, reach down to that position because uh, it's still less than n okay it should be greater than equal to n and that is a, if it is not possible the answer is already minus one. if it is not hitting these two conditions which means that even it is in an intermediate number intermediate number i can get to that by adding some values so i will just sort out this array b as stored out the values of i that i will be adding which will eventually provide some total power to our numbers and i will eventually so I will take from the very maximum. So that's why I have sorted in the decreasing one. R begin on R. I iterated over all these numbers inside this B array. And let's say I have done one operation to because I've taken that particular I, I've done one operation. So I've operation that because I've added taken that number. What I'll do, I will just take that number that is I, added the total number of twos we have, okay, that is X. And if it becomes greater than equal to one, then we just break because we have that answer. I should make that particular N. Uh, like this multiple of n to the power of n it is already possible just by adding this number of operations which is and if it is not then because that total number is added so x is plus equal to i and we just then until that of x plus i greater than and that's it that's a very greedy approach and that's we just that's how many operations that's all the logic in the code part for this particular video on problem also in the comment box of this particular. i will see you 